the first video in this series, Install Derby, and this is step two, how to actually work with Derby. Uh, we want to start up IJ, which is how we're going to use uh, Derby from a command prompt. And depending on how your Windows environment and your path is set up, that command might open up IJ for you. But if not, just find the IJ folder or the IJ file in the bin folder. You can change to that directory and then just type IJ to start up IJ. Uh, then we can do these other commands. This one says to connect um, and create a database. So it's, it's the connect command, but it's actually is going to create a database. Instead of creating the one in this tutorial, I'm going to create the one from uh, the textbook uh, to create a books database. So that command just created that folder in that same folder. And now we are going to actually connect to it. All right, so the same, almost the same command, but we do actually have a connection now. Uh, from this spot, we can execute SQL commands. But we are going to um, look at what this SQL file that actually creates the tables in the database does. And you can see there's not actually data in any tables yet. Uh, we've created the database, but we don't have tables or any data in it. So we can uh, run this SQL file. Um, basically, it's going to be run and then the SQL file name. Um, but again, if, the, if there's any issues with your path, you can put in the full path directory to that .sql file. And it should do all those SQL commands to create the tables and actually put the data in there. All right, now if I do select star from authors again, I see that there actually is data in the database. Uh, to disconnect in IJ, you type disconnect semicolon and then exit semicolon to get out of IJ. Um, and all that stuff is described at the bottom of this.